But the thing that I think will change the world and that people will be just totally shocked to understand is all the things that will get built around this product that we can't imagine yet. This podcast is really centered around looking five years into the future. And naturally, when people do that, they think of their childhood dream of flying cars. And yet today, that's exactly what we're here to talk about. If we really flash forward to the year 2030, you can expect to see vehicles are flying in and around, I think, most major cities in the US and really globally. Vehicles that can carry a pilot plus four passengers that can travel distances in the air and replace trips on the ground that would normally take you 60 or 90 minutes, uh, with now trips in the air that take you five or 10 minutes. So what innovation did you need to develop to manufacture your aircraft? So the challenge with designing these aircrafts really comes back to mass, to weight. That was what was so challenging about these vehicles. So when you switch to electric, you get those benefits that I talked about around safety and around noise, around cost. And so it was really clear to me from the very beginning, this had to be an all electric vehicle. How would a day in the life of Adam look like you know, when all of this proliferation of these electric vehicles and, and, and sort of uh, flying cars are around? Well, we've talked about actually, you know, building kind of a remote location office. So mm. think about whether it's in, you know, Santa Cruz up in the mountains or, um, you know, somewhere that you can fly to that, you know, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And if you, can, if you can imagine, you know, people going out, you know, taking people out from the company, let's say everybody could work out there, you know, one day a week, just in sort of this amazing different location um, to go back and get you inspired, to remind you of why you were so excited to join the company, you know, in the first place. I think we can offer just a compelling story and help show the world what the future can be like. And uh, I think uh, that'll start here at Archer. I tell you what, I'm picturing the Thunderbird, you know, remote mountain that opens up in, in, in the yeah. Santa Cruz mountains from there, inspiring everyone. 